come to Ask Nikki P. Now, it's kind of weird because I am currently sitting outside of my apartment complex, literally on the curb next to the alleyway. So that's a little awkward, but I decided that I wanted to like change up the scenery so that it wasn't the same thing five days a week, like 365 days a year. So I'm sitting out here because I haven't really ever filmed at this location and I feel like it looks better in the background than what I'm actually like sitting on. So anyways, I'm going to jump right into today's question. Hey Nikki, I am 17 and I feel like I'm way overdue to get a job, but I haven't gotten one yet because even just the thought of getting a job scares me so much. I suffer from social anxiety, so it makes the situation so much worse. Whenever I go to hand in my resume, I almost have a panic attack and I don't end up going through with it. Any advice would be great. This is really getting me down. Okay, so a couple things to this. The first thing is, um, I, I feel, I mean, I should know this, but like I said, I'm not, I mean, I'm not an expert in any of this, but I feel like social anxiety is like an actual, I don't know if it's like an actual, um, like chemical imbalance, ter like term type thing, you know, like how depression is like chemically something that's wrong, or if it's something that's like a characteristic you can develop. I don't really know enough about it. If it's something that is chemical, I would really recommend going to see like a doctor or a psychologist, someone who can help you through that and possibly like prescribe something or even checking out like um, a lot of times you can treat things with like holistic doctors through like nutrition and vitamins. But like I said, I'm not a doctor. I don't know. Um, specifically what that's like. If social anxiety is not something that is chemical and it's something like, it's like a, not like a characteristic, but something that you just, you struggle with, I would recommend pushing past it. Um, I think, and maybe I'm totally wrong, maybe I'm just in the same boat as you, but I think social anxiety is fairly common. Like I said, I'm gonna sound like an idiot if this is something that is really chemically off. But even if it is something that's chemically off, I still think that just like how real depression is a chemical thing, but people get like depressed, like they get really sad for, you know, certain periods of time. I think the same thing is true with social anxiety. It's really interesting because I'm a naturally like outgoing person and I naturally really like people and I'm really interested in like people and their stories. It's why I like history and English. They were always my favorite subjects in school because I liked hearing what people had to say and reading about people's stories. Even with all of that, I have gone through multiple seasons in my life where I just can't, I don't want to be around people. Like it makes me uncomfortable. And I think the reason that I don't want to be around people at certain periods of my life is because I care so much about, this sounds like I care so much, but like I care so much about engaging with people and really connecting with them when I'm around them that sometimes it's just, I don't have the energy. And so I don't want to go out. I don't want to be around people because I'm like, I'm just exhausted. I can't give any more, like, I can't give that energy to someone right now. Um, you know, also I've mentioned before, and this is not, by the way, I'm not trying to make this all about me, I'm just trying to maybe give insight as to maybe, if, you know, if you're someone that's struggling with it, to kind of maybe think about why you might be struggling with it. The other thing is, you know, I had really, really bad acne for a few years, and I think that that made it, like, it made me think a lot about me a lot, which is interesting, it's still something. I was talking to Dan the other night, like, since my whole job is essentially me and I stare at my face a lot whilst editing, while you know, putting myself out there, it's hard to not make it all about me sometimes. And it's not even from like a, eh, the world revolves around me. It's just like me, I'm a topic on my brain a lot. So I find that sometimes that can contribute to it as well. So it's kind of interesting. There's a lot of things going on there. And for me personally, um, it's, it's trying, I guess getting through that is, is, the word I have to be in tune with how I'm feeling so I need to know I need to really pay attention to how I'm feeling I notice sometimes if I'm not wanting to be around people because I need to take care of myself sorry this dog is freaking out as someone walking by um because I do need to take care of myself and I just need to be alone for a little while and that is really what I need or if I'm fooling myself and I'm really just shutting people out and having social anxiety so I think there's a matter of really being honest with yourself and going okay why does this happen and what can I do to combat it like I said that's speaking to if it's not a chemical imbalance but 
really being honest with yourself because people aren't going anywhere. You know, it's interesting because YouTube is something that I love so, so much, but there have been times where I'm like, I think I just want to like quit YouTube, you know, because you guys know I want to have kids one day, obviously. And sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm just going to have kids, be a stay at home mom, and then I'll feel better. I won't have to encounter people as often, like that don't like me. And then you think about it logically and you're like, dude, but being a stay at home mom is its own handful of stresses. Besides the fact that you're dealing with like taking care of a person 24 hours a day or multiple people, you know, then you're gonna be involved in potentially like mommy groups around other moms, you know, different mom things. So the point is social stress, social pressure doesn't really go away no matter what you do unless you just hold yourself up in a closet and never leave. So I really recommend trying to walk down the road of actively trying to change that and evolve because people aren't going away we're all here to stay so I don't know if that was a good question or a good answer like at all um, but you know as usual anyone that has like opinions thoughts any type of different perspective on any of this uh, please let us know in the comment section down below I know like I like seeing what everyone has to say and it's really interesting so that being said though you will be okay and I really believe that if you walk through it and try to learn and grow and like figure it out, it's gonna be uncomfortable, but I believe in you. So now I'm going to open up and do the Twitter question and then after the Twitter question, I have to move before the next question because the sun is rapidly moving. So let me open this up. I'm gonna search the hashtag, ask Nikki P. Sorry. Let's see. Hey Nikki, I was wondering, what is your opinion on tattoos and would you ever get one yourself? And of what? Love you, love you. Um, okay, so my opinion on tattoos, it's interesting because there are a lot of things that like I kind of have opinions on but not really. You know, like I don't really know if I'm a person to say like tattoos are right or tattoos are wrong. I don't really think much of them. I think they're cool. I I might get a tattoo one day. I've debated for a really long time getting on my wrist uh, James 127 or potentially the three hearts that I use a lot in my videos because those three hearts, I don't think I've ever said this on camera. I'm probably gonna say at some point, but those three hearts to me actually symbolize J120 or James 127 because um James 127 says, for the only religion that God our Father finds pure and faultless is to take care of orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world. So for me, I just kind of made in my head that those three hearts stand for those three things. The sun is getting really bright. So I might do that one day because I feel like that's never gonna be something I'm gonna look at and be like, dang you, James 127, I don't agree with you. I mean, maybe, but I don't think so. So um, yeah, that's my stance on tattoo Dan, Dan and I are like really really into tattoo shows and Dan almost got a full back tattoo a few years ago so um, of like an American flag and an eagle and thank God we trust so he would have been like really I don't know really American I guess so um yeah that is it send your messages to ask Nikki P at gmail.com or hashtag ask Nikki P and I will see you all next time bye guys really once it started getting to the point of like past just counting calories it was when it got to the point of like trying to make myself throw up a couple times